Hey there guys, this is your boy Black Jesus, or as my YouTube channel says, Black Oh Jesus. Um, hope you enjoy this video. I'm about to drop some knowledge. So here we go. Thanks to uh, this whole hashtag Me Too madness, where um, men across the globe, across the country, um, across the world, are being thrown, excuse me, um, are being thrown in prison for things they've never committed or things they haven't done and what feminists don't realize maybe some realize this but um, what uh, a lot of them don't realize is um, thanks to me too they're um, they're killing um, they're dividing the relationships between men and women like any woman who says um, she was raped, um, it's gonna like it's gonna be like hard to believe her because nowadays you got every woman who's saying she's been raped or sexually harassed or sexually assaulted, um, and it's a shame that fem um, that the feminists don't realize this, but they're creating a, um, a hole for themselves and they're not going to be able to crawl out of it not easily or ever um, feminists are reaching too far with that whole hashtag me too thing men are uh, steadily um, getting thrown in um, prison for claims uh, false claims or things they've never done never did some men are being thrown in prison for sexual harassment with a woman they've never even met imagine that how would that make you feel if you were a man or better yet if you're a woman watching this video how would that make you feel if you're a woman how would you feel if you were th um, locked uh, thrown in prison and locked up for a good eight to five no, no, no. Five to eight. No, no. But it, five to ten years in prison. Um, your future destroyed. Um, probably gonna be a impossible or really hard for you to get a, a decent job. So if you're a woman watching this, how, how would that make you feel? Because uh, a lot of men out here are are fed up uh, and more men are gonna be waking up men are steadily going their own way and hashtag me too has really helped it uh, men are afraid to socialize with women because um, hell just saying hi to a woman just saying hi to a woman these days you can uh, get thrown in prison just telling her she looks pretty or her outfit is nice um, you can get thrown in prison for that that's uh, the future feminism created uh, they've gave women so much power and uh, now that women have so much power men are gonna men are eventually gonna wake up um, they're eventually gonna say you know what the, these females are crazy I'm either gonna go my own way or go to a different country looking for another woman and that's what several men have done but that will continue to rise the more MGTOW is um, the more MGTOW is looked up or oh, the more uh, men just go MGTOW there are so many men who are MGTOW and they don't even know it there's so many red pillars who are red pilled and they don't even know it. Uh, back in my days when I was a blue pill, um, 
I was kind of a red pill. Like, I was in between. Like, I had my simpish qualities, but I wasn't like a complete simp, like, putting pussy on a pedestal. I, I, all, I've, all I've ever wanted was a shit, just a freaking nice woman, a decent woman that would play uh, video games with me and watch, uh, enjoy watching Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. Shout out to my uh, anime fans out there. <laughs> Shit, that's all I fucking wanted. I wasn't no simp. I wasn't uh, putting pussy on a pedestal. Uh, I wasn't begging. I wasn't begging to God, like, please send me some pussy. I mean, I was begging. I was asking God, like, man, can you help me find this? Can you just help uh, send this perfect woman? Um, on my send this perfect woman my way, but uh, that uh, that woman doesn't uh, exist, and here and here she exists, but uh, in the world where there's about three to four billion women, the reality she's not out there. So, uh, yeah, I hope you, uh, brothers have enjoyed this quick video, and I'll catch you in the next one. It's Black Jesus, or as my YouTube channel says, Black O Jesus. Um, have a good day, or night, depending where, wherever you are in the world. And always remember, you're the man, you've got the penis. You can make anything happen. Don't let women, uh, don't let these women knock you down. Don't let them beat you up. Um, if you're a single man wanting a woman, honestly, eight months ago, I was like, oh, well, since we're in 2018 now, um, about a year ago, I was uh, begging. I was. Um, begging for a woman uh, wishing I could get a woman because you know I don't really have a, the greatest as you guys probably for uh, for those MGTOWs who have uh, so, um, watched a lot of my videos you know I, I don't have the greatest social skills I'm a quiet guy and you know so I was never really good at uh, getting women. Like I could talk to them um, and stuff. I I don't know. I guess it was always anxiety that was holding me back, or the fear of her saying no, or the fear of her not wanting me, or um, um, the fear of her um, judging me. But now, I don't really have to worry about any of those things because I've lost my desire for a, a woman. Do I, uh, I'd, be, I'd be lying, I'd be lying to you guys if I said um, I completely didn't want a woman. Because, you know, some nights I'm laying down in my bed, you know, sometimes I'll say, man, I wish I had a woman to lay down with me, talk with to watch uh, um, the uh, DBZ episode, Dragon Ball Super episode. I wish I had a woman that I could lay down and um, get um, get warm with, cuddle with, uh, rub her booty, uh, grab them titties, uh, smack that ass, maybe play with the pussy a little bit. See, those are the things I used to want. Do I still want sex? Yes. I'm a male. It's in my nature. Uh, sex is good. Sex is healthy. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's the whole uh, video. Hope you brothers have enjoyed this video. This is nine minutes long than expected to be. Honestly, I was hoping to make this like a four or five minute video, but whatever. <laughs> But I keep talking, so I'll catch you brothers later, and uh, see you in the next video. Black Jesus out.